Welcome in, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Double stream today. And real quick. Oh man, got hot back here quick. Got it's a little, it's a little toasty back here now. It's a sign things are warming up outside. Let me go ahead and get this sweater off real quick. Hold on, y'all, real quick. That's better. Binge, what's up? What's up? All right. So we got a new launcher here, y'all. This is a new RSI launcher. It's open to wave one tester. So if you are a like $20 sub or you have one of the very expensive game packages, you can go ahead and get this, but this is not the topic of today's video. I wanted to talk about the uh, the hangar some more. So we're just gonna hop in to the game because we've already watched the video. We watched it three times on stream. I think three times is, is, is good enough, right? So we're just gonna talk about the hangers. Some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like. And yeah, as it slows, we're going to get into it. Scarred. What up, Mr. E in the building? This thing never capture the right thing. You haven't seen the ISC episode yet? Oh man, I don't know. Might be some spoilers in here for you, for you, uh, Scarred. Might be some spoilers. Have a little have a little discussion about it. Some of the things I like, some things I don't like. But Scar, you gotta let me know if you if you if you wanna if you wanna be spoiled in this thing or not. Alright, so basically, um, we're gonna get new hangers, right? Persistent hangers. And these hangers are only gonna be available planet side. So you will not be able to have a persistent hangar at a place like a space station, which some people probably don't like, but, but I kind of do understand why. And the reason is, is because if you think about it, a space station doesn't have an underground facility to store vehicles, right? I know it's a space game. It's make believe they can just do whatever. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, we can voice our displeasures with development. But CIG is going to do what CIG is going to do. You know, they're going to do what they do, and what they do is um, make things difficult. Because it seems like sometimes, you know. It's, it's like two steps forward and three steps back. Chasing our tails almost. Oh, inventories are... Inventory as we know it's actually going away. So the way the inventories are going to work in the future is they're going to have kiosk. Where you can grab inventory. Or you have to grab your inventory from your freight elevator right so basically let me go ahead and spawn a ship in Vehicle 
selected. Your vehicle has been delivered. Please so basically, if, if I'm reading the room correctly, this inventory is going away. We're no longer going to have this. There's going to be this kiosk where you have to load your inventory from. Now I see issues with that. Issues that I see with that potentially are at the kiosk, what's to stop another player from being at the kiosk near you and taking your thing and running away with it. So another thing is there's nothing faster currently than opening up this menu as jank as it is at times, just going, taking things off and putting things on, right? If I want to take all this stuff off and change my armor, it's a lot quicker doing this then it will be having to potentially load my things one by one. Now, there are ways that we can potentially get around this. I think if we in our hangers had suit or, or lockers where we could hang up um, armor suits, we could potentially have uh, our own like unique loadouts for our armors. I mean, I'm not too, too totally sure how that works just yet. I, th I still think you can buy it, right? But I think what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to go to a kiosk to access it. If I'm reading the room correctly. Now, I could be wrong. Right, yeah, so we'll have to test it and see. Because what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to wait for people to come by their kiosk terminals. You know, because they have them inside the stations, right? So I basically just stand there and then wait for somebody to load something and try to take it. I see you crate will stand in for your old inventory, but you will have to fill it first. Am I understanding that right? See, that part was unclear to me, right? Because as far as I know, like bigger things like components don't fit in SU crates, right? At least for right now, like we cannot put components in SU crates. We can't put weapons in SU crates. We can't put shield generators, quantum drives, power plants, coolers. None of this, none of that shit fits in SU crates. Now, if it did fit in SU crates, that's good because now that could potentially start a player-based economy with the resale of weapons, especially places like Pyro, right? I recalibrated my Toby and it's still making me look left every single time. What's going on with this thing? Still looking fucking left. Come on, Toby. God damn it. The shit was over $200. Toby. 
tell you why. Yeah, so like, you know, we'll have to test it and see. And basically what we're seeing is Star Citizen really transforming into a very different game, right? It's, n it's, it's no longer going to be the game that we know like right now. It's going to be something very, very different. me to looking this way, bro. Yes, Scar, I think you should you should go watch it and come back to the stream so we can have like a, a proper conversation about it. I, I kind of want to go buy a Fury and fly it around. So thick right here. Oh, it's a building. Holy shit. I couldn't tell where I was going for a second.
Welcome in, guys. Make sure everybody hits that like button. I'm interested, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I'm interested to hear what, to hear what you guys think about the uh, about the hangers and the latest ISC episode. I think there's a lot of things that are good, but there's also a lot of things that can potentially go wrong because it's such a big, big change. Yeah, so the kiosks are going to be pretty much everywhere. You know, so it's it's going to be weird or it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. You know, my other big question is, is like the outposts, like the mining outpost and places that spawn loot. Like, how are we supposed to deal with loot now that it's going to be all physicalized? You know, are we going to have to drop it out of the containers and then carry it physically to our ships? And the other big thing that I think is going to happen is all you're going to really see is people hanging out in their hangers. I don't think we're going to see too many people in the verse. It's no, it's, it's going to make pirating much, much harder because, uh, well, first of all, we're not going to have QD anyway. Right. But as far as like attacking players in their ships, like literally all they're going to have to do is just go down to a planet in the armistice zone. And then like the fight's over, you know, it, Places like R Corp, they don't really have a planetary surface that you'd probably fall through. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's like unclear. They didn't do a very good job of explaining a lot of stuff in my opinion. So I guess you have to buy that one. What up? I um, mean, you and Ken, I fell sideways in Arcor for like an hour. Yeah, I remember that. I was there for that. Yeah, so we're talking about the, uh, the IC episode. I was it's talking the things I don't get about that. So let's say you go to, what is it, like, Welcome Fall 1, Bag 1, whatever it is on, um, I think it's on Yellow. Yeah. It might not be, but whatever, to, like, buy gold, right? At, like, one of the little outposts. Okay, so now... You used to be able to buy your gold or your commodity, it'd be on your ship, and then you can go take off. Now you gotta, like, what? Load up it, all the crates yourself? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Spending three hours at this fucking outpost, praying to God a fucking A2 doesn't show up out of nowhere. I think we're gonna see a lot less A2s in Master Mode for a while until the tuning gets settled. Well, shit. It might not matter if the bombing's slower, you know? Yeah. If your target's gonna be there for, for six hours, it doesn't matter how slow you are. It's true. Because what is he gonna do? Get his ship take off and leave his crates there? Okay, well, thanks for the crates, my man. Can't wait to mine the salt. The, the killing the dude in the, the ship that took him six hours to load. And I killed him as soon as he left his hangar. Or better yet, I shoot him through the hangar because there's a hole between the hangar doors. Yeah, they're not going to fix that anytime soon. If nobody knew about that, that's pretty fucking great.
Yeah, there's so many unanswered questions. And I was just telling them earlier, like, say somebody's pulling out uh, their stuff on one of the kiosks, right? They're pulling out, like, helmets or whatever. What's to say that I can't walk up to that kiosk and just take their stuff and run away with it? Yeah, well, that's... Because, like, the kiosk will be down in the, in the hangar. But there's kiosk everywhere, though. So if someone's dumb enough to go to a kiosk and they're, like, spotting an armor or whatever, and, you know, they're not paying attention, and, like, the armor spawns in, and then I just walk up, and because I have a, a better server ping than they do, I can essentially grab their stuff before they can do anything about it. Yeah, out in the, the public ones? Yeah. Whatever, yeah, they could be... I still see it being an issue in your own instance, like... What's stopping me from getting on the elevator with you and following you down to your hangar like I do now? Yeah. And then your your hangar is your instance, and you got like stuff laying around, and I run in there and I just start grabbing shit. It's true. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Throw it all on the elevator and then leave. What I would like to see is like if we're like in a party. And you have something in your hangar, and it's like, hey, uh, I need this thing. And I'd be like, oh, cool. And I can just, like, send it to you, to your hangar directly. Yeah, I don't know. It would be nice if the the, the cargo hangar, you know, I can send my own stuff up and down in someone else's hangar. Because then that would, that would open up player trading, right? You pay me, we're both in my instant hangar, and then I call up the item. Yeah. I mean, I could just drop it on the floor there and leave. Because I'm in your instance, you know? I, I just call the sense. item up and then leave. Yeah. So many ways they can make it good. Bug Brad, what's going on, man? How you doing? But we both know they're going to do the 12 other ways to make it pass. I like the hangar part of it. What I, what I don't like about it is the inventory part. The inventory part seems... It, it's weird, right? Because if they want everything to physicalize, right? They said no more no more inventories, right? What about loot tests and stuff like that? What's going to happen to those? Yeah. And I'm also thinking, like, am I going to have to manually, like, load my vehicles? Like, there's no way I'm going to sit around all day trying to put weapons on an A2. Especially when, like, it's hard enough to, to, to get weapons off of here and put them on here the correct way. Right. You know how many no, guns this thing has? You know how many guns this thing has? And then having to try to get all of these components inside of the ship, up to elevator and into the areas, like, bro. We already know, like, items fall through the elevator on the Hercules. Oh, you bring up a good point. That's going to be great when someone's like, they put a bunch of stuff on the, the thing and then they call the elevator up and the elevator eats the items and they lose them. Right. <laughs> like the elevator came up but without my items and now they're no longer in my inventory. Biggest crime though was no uh, no vehicle spawning in 323. That's the only thing I really want to use the elevators for, in that and moving weapons between systems. No, oh, we're still have to fly out to a platinum bay outpost. Yeah, because they said something was wrong with the uh, the thing. I don't know. Maybe they could surprise us and fix it, but um, I'm already I'm already planning on not having that. 
I mean, just think about how like how hard it's gonna be to get your components up here. Yeah, because they're not gonna be like dude, you're not carrying that. You gotta use a tractor beam for that. Imagine trying to swap out uh, your shields and stuff. You gotta Gross. call the component up, get it, bring it onto the ship, tractor beam it around, open bro, this gonna bay be, up. Bro, it's gonna be pain, bro. But they want us to be in pain. They like to abuse us. This is an abusive relationship. And you're gonna have to take it up the elevator, right? Because you can't take it up the ramp. Because, you know, Lord forbid you fucking drop one of them, your ship's gonna fucking explode. Oh god, I just got yeeted off my elevator. Thank and you, Star like Citizen. That's gonna happen, you know, when you're when you're trying to move components around. The only time I'll be moving shit around is when, like when there's a low pop server. Other than that, I'm not doing shit. It won't be worth it. But we'll see, you know. A big a big component of this also too is like how well the servers perform, right? And uh CIG in the past has promised, you know, better server performance and they've yet to deliver on that, so and I think that's where our biggest worry is. It's like, okay, well, all this sounds good in theory, but uh, what happens Welcome when the uh, the, the servers Airsoft are performing like shit? System. What happens when I spotted my uh, backside Hager and it filled top to bottom, left to right with nothing but single pieces of rat shit? You know, right. how's the server going to handle that? How much rat shit can you put in your hangar? I'm going to put it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm just gonna go into somebody else's hangar and just have a bunch in my backpack and just drop poop in their hangar. Be like, get out of my hangar! Like, wait one, bro. I'm trying to get rid of all of this shit. Running around all the corners, dropping little piles of shit. Yeah. I haven't flown one of these in a while. It reminds me of the Dragon Ball Z capsule. Right. I'm sorry, but Dragon Ball Z doesn't make sense to me. I mean, from the get-go episode one, it should have been over. Like, I get Goku's a Saiyan too, but like, his brother was a trained Saiyan. Like, there's no way he, he lost to two untrained dudes who barely knew how to use their power. Talking about, you talking about Vegeta? Uh, Raditz. Raditz? His brother from the first episode? Yes, I think. It was like, ha come on now. to get 3200 out just to see you the target fun to score uh ion oh you went and got it yeah we made enough money after the past couple of days
Those things are quick. <laughs> yeah. I dare you try to dock with me. doesn't automatically transform the ship. I wasn't even at max speed before, now I am. Oh, there you shoot at me. Two hit sounds, but your shields on my screen didn't change at all. No, you didn't hit me. The frames are not the best here. Fly Fury too? Uh, sure, why not? I got two of them. You're gonna have to guide me back to the thing because I don't have quantum markers. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. It should be HDMS something. I ever, never mind. I see my. Uh, I see a ship marker down here. I'm at least going to give it a shot, though, Scarred. Yeah, I see my A2. Well, you know, Star Citizen can't add anything to the game, so... Because that would require actual work, so we're just going to make what you can do take even longer, and that's going to be the content. Yeah, I was saying that most people are not in 323. They're gonna, most people are just going to be sitting in their hangars decorating them. They want to be actually out in the verse. Yeah, something they do in the verse. they didn't add um, essential like host and everyone's uh, in all the hangers so now you have to physically get out and refill your ship don't you give me get any out, ideas grab the hose and plug it into your ship don't give me any Go ideas ship, set the fuel amount shh, shh. quiet quiet you Welcome to the get back out go activate the pump
insurance claim has been sent. Do not give these people any ideas. What's going on here? Why is it the hover bike just bouncing? Why is it? <laughs> what kind of question is that? You already know why it's bouncing. Star Citizen, bro. I'm pretty sure separate FPS is not great right now. Let me see. Also, our FPS is like nine. I wonder why my FPS is so low. It's weird. Normally, I get killer frames. Let me see something real quick. Turn clouds. Cl turn clouds off for a little bit. Add a second bike. Now we got two of them bouncing out here. Oh, that didn't really help at all. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle has been replaced. It's on the pad. I did help. I got like five more frames. Is it though? Nope. Well, it was down here, out here. He said it was delivered. Is it though? <laughs> well, we have to claim it now. <laughs> right. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Um, Your vehicle has been delivered to the following there, it My, there it is. It was my understanding that there wasn't going to be any uh, of those pesky internal inventories. Like, you'll have to physically loot them and have the stuff loose on your ship or inside a, an armor rack or a, wep a weapons rack. You know, if they want to do all this stuff, I think we need rep be able to have weapon racks inside of our hangars. And uh, armor racks inside of our hangars make all that shit like working. So I'm saying, like, they can't, like, just. Well, no, you're not gonna have a weapon rack in your your hangar because you just store it in the fucking kiosk. Yeah, but I don't wanna have to add... go. I'm not gonna go in the kiosk every time they get a weapon out. Yeah, but that's what they want you to do, not what you want. Feels good, doesn't it? Flying a Fury with frames? Right. Feels good to fly with frames in general. I'm gonna fly towards the sun. Before it gets too dark. You gotta press Alt and K to get your weapons out. Uh, yeah, after you, yeah, after you, uh, yeah. after you pull your landing gear out. Had to come to a complete stop, also. Think and roll like no other. Yeah, I was excited for the Mirai Heavy Fighter until I learned that we were getting Master Mos right now. Right.
Boom. No shields. Yeah, these things are pretty, uh, pretty zippy. Just out there. Well, it's like, well, GG's. Me too. My game was all laggy. Why did they get so toppy? Probably because we're so close to. Lordville. And also, like, whenever there's, I notice whenever there's a windstorm, I, especially near uh, Hurston or Lordville, terms are not good. Mm -hmm. but I want to come to a place where, like, where there's daylight and, like, decent atmosphere. All right. Shields down. Let's reset it. Yeah. We both got each other's shields. Oh, no, mine were still alive. They came back instantly. And mine were all the way off. Yeah, I can see why Avenger Squadron uses these in PvP. Still, things are toxic. The only thing is annoying when you can't see the. Oh, you're fucking shooting. on your shield that time. Yeah. I felt like I got a pretty, quite a few good hits on me. Some of them did. He had a few shots. Stutter. None of those shots landed except for the very last, like, three. 
yeah, I was trying to be a little bit more invasive and also trying to land my shots, but I was blacking out. It's hard to see you. Oh, uh, I need to put power to sh weapons. Change. Landed a few shots. Need boost. Blacked out? Yeah. Alright. Don't die, can up. <laughs> My guy says as he wakes up. God damn, we took the far part. So think about your triangle I did, Mr. E. God damn, you went all the way out there. Yeah. I'm about to black out again, turning back around. Come on, I'll hang in there. There we go. If I didn't have your marker, I wouldn't. I would not know where you were. Right. I would be like, "Well, GG. I'll never find that dude again." Right. But yeah, I'll get the frames so much better. you on lead pip because lead pip like with this ship i can't even like see where you're oh, okay. see your shit blacking out yeah it's blacked out uh -oh. drifting did you hit the ground no oh yeah we're pretty high up i'm gonna black out again though Blacked out. No, I'm not gonna shoot you while you're blacked out. Cause I see your shields are not recharging. I wouldn't do you like that. That one no, barely. No. Oh, barely. Nice, bro. Very good. Oh, you got me there. I have to wait for my weapons to recharge. Oh. You're good. Part of the game. I 
of my shots hit. It's going too fast. My delta was too high. Yeah, what's helping me in my turns, Kenop, is like every time I turn, I come off the throttle. So right here, I'm, like when I'm yeah. turning on you like this, I'm not on the throttle. I do when, uh, when my guy's getting ready to start passing out. When I hear him getting through labor, I'll, I'll let off. And then on the tight situations, I'll push in on gray and then try to try to let out before I tunnel. to my cheeks on that one. These things are just so fast. Evade all your shots. And push. Ah, oh, good kill. Got that re-push. Wow, I just sitting there waiting for your shield. Oh, the hat came back really quick. Was it not seen on your screen? Because you didn't get no. him all the way down. They were only red, like red still. boost and had to I keep getting too low on boost. Well the problem is Mr. E like they don't they've never once to explain their flight model. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the other problem with their flight model is is the servers. That's like the main issue with their flight, with their flight models is servers. Because when I was doing PVE missions on a low pop server with high server FPS, it was actually not as easy as it normally is, right? I was actually facing some type of challenge. Oh damn, nice. But the problem is they never explain their flight model. So you have to go and uh, to third party sources to, to learn about the flight model. Which is not how a game should work. Right. Ow. How did I miss so much more than you? Having friends is, is a big help. Yeah, it is. In Portland, so, we would fight. I would never stand a chance. Now I can mean? actually see God. Yeah, this is why I did, This is why I, this is why I never wanted to do PVP practice, practice with your old PC. Even my old PC would have been miserable trying to practice like that. I can't wait to fly this in Master Mode's free flight. So this thing's gonna be toxic. Hmm. Have to pull off. Getting close, too close to the hole.
Got a boost? Yeah. Got any boost? It hurt. Yeah, G's are king in this game, so like, the more G's that you have at your disposal, the better your fights are gonna be. Oop, good kill. It's a quick one. And that one lined up perfectly. Thing. Delta's probably too high. Came in, I was playing passive, and then when you got used to it, I pushed in aggressive. I was right on you. Oh, it's cloud. I freaked out for a second. you lined up and my power's not to my effing weapons. Could have came back I did that on that a couple one. Of times. didn't pay out with enough damage. How you doing on fuel? Uh, getting to uh, losing my first quarter. All right. These things, these things are not terrible on fuel. Yeah. It's like you want like fighting for like 20 minutes. Yeah. God, I wasn't moving. paid for. Oh shit, I was trying to lead turn you. I went back the other way. Nice. I guess they didn't give this ship uh, gimbals with how it turns. 
gonna have gimbals in the next patch though, I think. Aren't all ships gonna have gimbals? Except for like the Ion Inferno. Yeah, I wouldn't want uh, gimbals on that. Mm -hmm. I kill. Yeah, ships in the hangar. I mean, I feel like with ISC, a lot of times we get more questions than we do answers from each episode. It's like, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? And certain things just don't make sense from what they're trying to do. Oh goodness. Oh, should I have no idea where we are? I know we're by Loryville. We gotta have to find our way back to uh to the outpost. Yeah. Uh, well it's somewhere away from the sun. So there's Gloryville, so it's somewhere down over here. To the south. Right where we're first on this planet. There's cardinal direction. Fifty percent fuel. Oh, this way somewhere. Happy has a new computer. I was actually able to win some fights where before my old PC I could never win them. Yeah, that's why I said I think you'd become a better pilot. You know. Much easier to hit a target when it's actually where you're looking at, and it's not like two and a half seconds behind. Yeah. next to a lake. Right now we're next to a mountain.
aspect this way. It's not like we can't any, be any more lost than lost. It won't be like an aero view hangar like we will get with the cap ships, but it'll be like it is now. You'll be able to rent a bigger hangar eventually. If you buy a C2 in game, do you get your inventory to your hangers? Another question. That I can't answer. gel water. I think I see my uh, A2 marker. You see it? So, yeah, I see it now. I found it. They were still a little ways off. Look, Ma, I'm a tracker. These speeds, I should not be having water on my windows. Right. Because fucking slime water. Like clingy X water. Right. Landing successful. We feel. Money, uh, Mr. E, when you have the the game load your load your cargo on your ship for you, but you still have to wait. Yeah. The question is, is like, okay, how long does it take me to load my ship full of, you know, what's the uh, the capacity of the, of the uh, C2 five, over 500 SU? How long does it take me to load 500 SU versus how long does it take me to wait? Well, no Star Citizen, it'll come out. That'll probably be something, you know, a little too long, but okay, it's kind of reasonable, and then they'll change it, and it'll be way too fucking long. Imagine you going, you getting uh, disconnected from the server for waiting too long. It's 
So it's got to be shorter than your uh, timeout time, right? I, I don't know. He showed putting a couple of boxes on a ship taking nine fucking minutes, though. It was like ten fucking minutes, so I don't know. I wish I had another person that can fly like a, a ship for us and we could do like service beacons with the uh, Furies. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> now that we actually have good frames. Carly, come here. Hm. If only Carly didn't work basically 24 7. Right. If only Carly didn't have a life like us. <laughs> Over here, trying to be a successful, independent woman. Right. It's gonna have to suck if you have to claim and then wait for a loading timer. Yeah. That's why I said mining the salt is gonna be so great, right? Because you're gonna get a guy who is gonna wait, has to wait forever for his big ass fucking cargo ship to come in, and then he's gonna go down to the hangar. And he's gonna spend a lot of fucking money to have the the quote unquote NPCs magically fill it up for you, which is still gonna take a bunch of fucking time. Meanwhile, you know there's there's me who's just sitting up there waiting for your ass to come out, and as soon as you show your face, and you know it's pow 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 pow, dead, you're done. They're, they're, gonna, be, they're gonna they're gonna extend gonna the uh, they're gonna extend the armistice zone all the way up to the. Uh to the space station. Oh, can you come look at my uh, my back real quick? Turn into the light. Cat. Look, cat. I turn stole your turn gun. the other way. Like face me, real quick. There you go. I stole your gun, cat. Go go bionic eyes. She can't stop me from stealing it. Oh, ha, ha. Did you leave the party? How dare you leave my party? No, oh, it has been disbanded. The game was like, enough fun for you. Alright, no more parties. Stop laying on the ground. <laughs> Cat was on, and then she thought I came online and she got off. I hope I can sleep in my hangar instead of taking the tram. If you can put a bed in there, a persistent bed. Nah. I don't see why not. You can't. You. The, the only way it would be possible is if they didn't stop you from bed logging on your ship in the armistice zone. Um, but ain't no way you're gonna have a bed in your hangar. I wanna put a loft like in my hangar. Removable. But I want a loft in my hangar. Bro, how'd this happen? But they said the hangers are going to be persistent, so like if you put stuff in it and then go somewhere else and load your hangar, it's going to be there still, so why even use the, um, the freight elevator? Just leave everything laying out? Yeah, just stuff everything in your hangar. Or you go into somebody's hangar, you pick up a 32 XQ crate and we'll start whacking them with it. <laughs> right. Stuff it on the elevator and leave with it, like, bye, thanks. Bro, how does it even happen? I don't know. We'll just... I'll go mining for Quantanium, get all the boxes re after I refine them, take them to my hangar and build me a fort. Right.
Quantum of Solitude, what I'll call it. get my party invite? No. The game's being stupid as per usual. Might have to re-log. I sent you one. I got yours. But I don't your marker I mean. Launch. I'm gonna relog. What do you mean no bed logging? Because you don't have um well, first of all, bed logging will eventually be gone. Yeah. That's an eventuality we all need to get used to, but you can't bed log and armistice. So there's no way you could have like a ship with a bed in your hangar and you could just bed log in your hangar. Like you can blow up a ship and get the bed out of it and put it in your hangar and use it. Failed my relog. Yeah, because I got yours and I accepted it, but it doesn't seem like we got in a party. Oh, yeah, in case you guys haven't seen it. Oh, it says I'm offline. Stay All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, call it, restart my game too, so I'm gonna fly to the station real fast. Cause you know, I don't have a bed in the ion. Ion not fancy like that. I haven't even updated my launcher. Are you still subbed? Am I still sub? No. Because I think it's only for wave one. No, it has the, uh, you can go download it off the, off the spectrum. Oh, okay. I want a partial refund for each ship then. Yeah, see, I'm glad in, well, I do have the, I do have the Zeus that has a bit on it. And I do have the A1 that has a bed on it. But those are all my, yeah, it's card. my only bed ships. Yeah, but see, uh, you won't be able to get a, a refund for, for the beds on the ships because they could just say, you know, something else arbitrarily went up in price. 
But yeah, we adjusted for no beds, but uh, insurance went up, so that's why it's still the same price. And then what are you going to do? I don't know if it's temporary or not, but they said they want to take bed locking away for a while. Which is kind of dumb because, like, at first they's like, we want you to be out in the verse, and now they want us to be, be at our hangers. Because the verse is shit. And the more people are out there, the more they're realizing. The more people that are in their hangers, the higher that server FPS will be. They have to put in filler content, and they can't make content, so the filler's gonna be time. Yeah. But if... If, um... We can put uh, weapons in the uh, SU crates, I'll definitely be pulling those weapons off of, like, uh... NPC missions. And putting those into like uh, 32 SEU boxes and then shipping them off to Pyro to sell to players who need weapons. Yeah. Unpopular opinion 318 has <laughs> been their best patch so far. Remember how three move 318 used to be? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. 318 was never safe. I believe the 318, the one where everything was really, really good. I have to go back and look at the old stream. No, 317 was the one that was really good. Yeah, that's probably 317 I'm thinking of. Yeah, 318 was a dumpster fire. Oh, God. That was the one we had, like, four wipes in six months. You gotta be kidding me. I pushed the button for the elevator to Everest Harbor, now I'm up in the fucking ceiling. Call <laughs> <laughs> the elevator, whoop. Now you're inside the station. Nom 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 to the elevator. But it wasn't even the elevator, like, I warped up into the ceiling from where I was standing. That's crazy. Ceiling side, nom 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 nom. the next update I thought isn't it already like that now cat it's just getting back to to the same server as where you did that is a uh, is a whole nother uh, you know rodeo that a server crashed. Yeah. And player ships. If you have a ship somewhere and a server crashes, it'll come back. Immersion. Mr. E. Immersion. And of course, I'm back at Orson. Welcome to Orson. A city up your ass. In the clouds, I mean. Welcome to Orison, you'll never get out. You know, I couldn't set my spawn point at Everest Harbor. So Everest Harbor decided to eat me.
Having to go to the bathroom and do hygiene in a video game is dumb. Unless you're playing something like The Sims. Yeah. Ain't no way I'm gonna be... Ain't no way I'm gonna have my group and be like, Alright, let's go, uh... Let's go do this bunker, guys. But quick, let's all go take a shower. Right. Hold right. on, man. Before we do this next to the RT, my guy got my guy's gotta go take a fucking massive dump and a shower because you know I have it. My guy's getting stinky now. He can't fly it properly anymore. You're gonna get so smelly. You're gonna start emitting. Uh, you're gonna have to wear like one of those special hazmat suits around you. Right. Or like if you have high body odor, you're <laughs> you emit more uh, uh, radiation on radar, so you're able to be seen easier. Our radars can detect odor. This dark. Yeah, you're gonna go to, uh, take a shower and shit while your cargo's being offloaded. Go get drunk at the bar. Do that shit at, like, Brio's breaker yard and shit. Shower's gonna take nine minutes and thirty-seven seconds. Nah, it probably won't. It'll probably be like ten seconds or so. It's dumb. I'm just gonna say right now it's fucking stupid. It is done though. Like, the fuck do I care if this T posing motherfucker on this chair cares that my character took a shower? Fuck you, third citizen. Get it out of the game. You gotta do a contract and they track your cleanliness? Like, how clean are you? Right. If you fly a Drake ship, you're just gonna always be dirty. Well, you know, they're adding the Care Bear rep system, so what'll happen is if your guy doesn't take a shower, you'll, your rep will suffer, and then you can't play the game, because, you know, you'll be a criminal, so you can't do any missions or anything. And all the stations will always try to kill you forever. No one knew about the the Care Bear rep system that they're forcing CIG to do. Kill a player, you can never play the game again.
Got some murder hobo contracts. I'm just gonna see where they're at. I had a personal 30k, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, they're at Grim Hex, I'm not waiting at Grim Hex for them. God, the ship is so loud. Oh yeah, I forgot like my settings got changed, so I probably need to turn the game volume back down a little bit. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for me. We had a nice little conversation about what's going to be happening with these hangers. And as always, I really appreciate you guys for being here. You know, I hit 4,000 subs, which I'm, I'm very happy about. And I want to continue to produce the, the best content that I can. And I appreciate all your support. And I'm really thinking about doing a ship giveaway at 5k subs. Um, maybe I'll announce it here the next couple of weeks. I got to think about which ship I want to buy. But... I'm leaning towards uh, giving away F7 to incentivize somebody to, you know, do the missions, you know, and, um, you know, hopefully they can, you know, win them an F7 as well and add that to their fleet. But until next time, guys, I'll see you. Take care of yourselves. Peace. Peace.